Andre Doxy, Jordan Brand, Footwear Design Director, CP3.6. So we keep focusing on making each of the shoes lighter each season. So 20% uh, lighter than the last CP3.5. So this is, this is uh, coming in at 11. 20% lighter? Yeah, so 11.5, um, getting this thing to really move forward in, in lightweight. So how we've done that is not only a lightweight upper construction, so this is the Hyperfuse upper, right? So one piece upper, super simple, really focusing on fit as well as breathability and, and the craft of the upper. So it's one piece and it's only split down the back, right? So we really focused on how we can really have this really wrap around this foot and give you a great arch support in the midfoot area as, long, as well as give you some great lockdown across the length of his foot. So this was inspired by the dragonfly. And so the whole idea around that is we kept talking about CP and speed. What personifies speed? And we kept looking across different areas and we like, oh, insects, ah, oh, dragon, dragonfly. And then also this whole idea around dragonfly cheetah because you know, George 13 is his favorite shoe. And that's a shoe that was stolen when he was a kid. And so we kept going back to you know, George 13, the whole idea around the cat with uh, MJ, right? So the whole black cat piece. And so we said, oh, but he's got the black cat, oh, cheetah. So we start putting the cheetah and the dragonfly together, start pulling those together as inspiration points. So you see that happening here on the outsole. Okay. Um, what's the cushioning for this? Uh? So this is Podulon. So we have a okay. dual foam system. So we have a lighter and lower density foam. And we have the Podulon, which is a higher density. So the white area represents where the Podulon is focused and located on, in the shoe. So okay. underneath is from a small toe to big toe. We also call that the first med head to fifth med head. And right here, which is where you get all your power from toe off, mm -hmm. we we'll really have it here as well. And, and CP, he specifically requests Pajalon. He loves the way it feels. He loves the way it plays, right? right? It's very, it's lightweight, but it's also very responsive, right? right? And also, it really holds up to the, his rigors of play. CP is really tough on shoes. I mean, the dude kills shoes. Right. So, so we make sure that not only does he have the Pajalon where he likes it, in the forefoot underneath this first through fifth, fifth med head, but we actually wrap the rubber up. Because CP, if you ever watch his game, he drags and slides his foot, right? So he actually slows himself down right. when he does his crossover by dragging his foot on the inside. So we want to make sure that we, and that's also the reason why we use the Hyperfuse because it's also very durable. So we don't have the issue of the shoe breaking down prematurely, mm -hmm. right? But also keeping the weight down. Right. So that's the idea there with the Pajalon. You see it's called out here in the forefoot. Okay, where it's located. It's really important there. And you're also going to find how we've done this this whole cheetah paw piece here. We have the actual flux screw in the in the heel, and this is to make sure that when the, he lands, he has great stability. And so you see this Y flex here that allows his foot to locate itself properly. Right, it slows down the rate of pronation. Also, when he's coming down from a leap. Right, more stable, so really important there. And then we have the shank moving through into the forefoot, and you can start to see some of the details of the number six here with the actual um, bowling shoe, um, you know, indicator. Right, it's pretty cool. You also see up here in the forefoot area, so it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of designed into the chevron or, or herringbone, but it's a larger chevron shape. That also goes back to his grandfather. Right, right, right. He owned the gas station, right? right. Chevron gas. It's really, really cool. So he loved bowling. So his, his, his grandfather, he also has, you know, the number six we have here for his CP 3.6. Then you also have on his lace tips, we have the zip codes, right? Okay, so just all the little things yeah, that we yeah, start telling the stories around the CP. I'm really excited about that. <coughs> so, CP 3.6. So, as Josh talked about earlier, and we mentioned that before, these are launching. Uh, we did the Olympic colorway first, and that came out on September 8th, so that was a celebration of the, of the Olympics. And you're going to see us really start to drop these in the marketplace. So, in LA only, we walk over this way. I'll, I'll, I'll stay with the shoes for a minute. Okay. We stay here. So you have a nitro pack, right? And this is going to be LA only, right? And these will drop third week in October. So we're really excited about that. And then on the 3rd of November, what we'll see is national drop for the colorways you're going to see them on court, okay. right? And then these are the spring colorways you're going to see on the college teams.
Okay. Um, quick question. The nitro pack, uh, yeah. what is the inspiration behind speed. that? Speed. I thought about speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. He loved um, movies about, you know, racing and fast cars and the whole deal. So we said, you know what? What better way to get after that? Remember last season we did the whole Jekyll and Hyde. Right, right, right. right. Idea. So how do we come back with something more exciting this season? So we started to talk about speed and nitro. It's like, all right, cool. Okay. So he was really excited when we brought these to him. He was just blown away. He's like, man, I can't believe what you guys have done for me this season again. So we're really excited about those colorways. Right. Again, that's LA only. Okay, and that's 1021. You'll see those drop. Okay. Pretty great. Oh, wait, also, what, what is the retail price for the? Uh, this is um, 125. 125. And the nitro pack will be the same, or are yeah. they? Yeah, okay. all the same price.